and Osama bin Laden and his son Barack Hussein Obama, 4th of July from four years ago. I am Melton, son of a carpenter and Mary. I dad a carpenter worked on skyscrapers, Mom Mary Ann. I am the son of a carpenter Mary. I get to make parables. Excuse me. <coughs> and this is my Tommy Parable series. I'm not feeling well today on this fourth. Because of a whole lot of stuff, uh, not getting some good sleep. Uh, I need a doctor who can prescribe uh, pain medicine or sleep medicine. One, the pain medicine, sleep medicine is the best pain medicine. Instead, I have a condescending uh, Dr. Misa down the street. Remember the flight 93 checking post and five in front of her. You don't have to believe a thing I say in any of my parables. Just that your phone's not allowed to work and they can reach me by phone. You need to know what their very active taunting part is. And your family's life on not working. Yes, this is about Tommy, the no-arm Chinese fellow. Being blindly obedient, he fed that right arm into a wood chipper. His boss flew, gave him a test of loyalty. He said, stick that right arm into the wood chipper. Tommy did that. He slowly fed that right arm in, left. He saw what was going on. Was, of course, surprised and jumped off. He's a smart left arm. Now, this is my slideshow imagery, not imagery I designed. I designed a saint, but I don't want to use it. So I'm going to use this because, yeah, uh, harassment techniques from the Muslim cop, corrupt cowardly cop apartment down below. And the must be getting a whole lot of complaints because the manager's cell phone, emergency cell phone number is full up the... Uh, mailbox and the vet next door Pulowski is the name of one of them I looked it up the last time they had some chemicals in the air gassing their dogs who knows what the hell they're doing it's burning my nose it's coming directly from them once again you don't have to believe a thing I say just ask each and every vet each and every person taking their dog or cat or whatever they got to that vet, what do you know about this? When else in my family's life I'm not be allowed to work because of what you're actively taking part in? Do you know about John Melton Brady next door? Having his lifeline hijacked? His livelihood hijacked? What do you know about that? Good folks are gonna, aren't going to have a, a problem at all, like Dr. Misa down the street. Uh, I'm sure maybe one staff member might be like that. Not going to have a problem with you demonstrating America's hijack lifelines too and bad ones. That's your family's hijack lifeline. You got the timestamp on your phone. You got the number dialed. Make a video of it. I make videos of my call log to and every call to and from past uh, two years. The last video I placed on YouTube.com slash DNFD series. Last one I placed there. Oh, a couple weeks or so ago. If you don't show up on that, yeah, you don't know when else your phone won't be allowed to work. Perhaps because you're a Christian, they just placed someone named Hussein in the highest office in the world right after we got attacked by a whole lot of angry, violent, deadly Husseins. Now they have the buffoon Trump in. I'm not a fan of him either. Make that video. You got the timestamp on your phone. You got the number dialed. Those hijacking your call to me, and who knows where else are hijacking your call to. They're worried enough about to alter phone records covered up, but you've got video proof. Get that video proof. Now, yeah, the uh, lack of sleep, uh, sleep deprivation, the uh, chemicals in the air from the vet next door, the uh, hatred noise from down below, the computer here literally stopping every once in a while because... Those on hand with high-tech toys are very much like Lori and Brady Bond. My demon sister, ask her, how do you reach this man to taunt him? Reach me the past, uh, oh, not, probably not the past year. I've stopped answering the phone. I don't check. If it's a Louisiana number, uh, it's probably them. I'm not going to answer. But, uh... Uh, yeah, how do you reach this man to taunt him about his gate livelihood of graphic art? And his other gate livelihood is real livelihood built in Jesus' in Michael's house. He's uh, got relatives in the Mideast, from the Mideast. He's also got relatives with water and powder out here. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, who, um, 
I'm assuming that's how she's able to reach me by phone. I had to spend three long years in Hussein's little Arabia, as I call it. Because my, uh, that's the only place I could find to live in L.A. Uh, let me get to my, uh, yes, uh, I'll get into that with this parable because it's about a, about four years ago. This uh, fun fiction that ends when you pick up your phone and can't reach me, 424-229-4140. Now, one nine eleven flight 93 check has the image from yesterday. I hope it's in here somewhere. I put it in, but yeah, things jump out of my folders all the time on this computer. The other computer in there too. As it says, not one 93 check in a decade of asking. As I tell all cops, all firemen make the video of the fire station phone, the police station phone, all soldiers. Oh, saw some jets flying over, some military jets flying over eager like yesterday. Make that video, whatever you get when you don't get me of the military basis phone of each other's phone. Make the video post video. You protect America, this part of it. Now let me hurry up because I want to at least lay down as I'm trying to get my stuff paid, my contact cards paid to get something to print out. And uh, a whole lot of folks are worried about one man working alone. I think you've seen all of those. Hopefully, it's six minutes in. Tommy slowly fed that right arm. He got a promotion out of losing both arms, the left arm jumping off. I'm going to do my sugar check now. Oh, well, that was a nice parable. I did it earlier. I hope to do it better. Uh, about Clarice being called into her boss's office. He's a federal agent. And the boss puts a big, you know, it's throwing a hard drive on the on the desk in front of him. And he says, so you take that, it's got links to Milton's YouTube's his uh, imagery on Flickr, other places. It's got links there. And I want you to study that stuff, uh, study the man, Clarice. He is a witness to our presidency being hijacked by the Muslims and then placing that cowardly Hussein in our White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of angry, violent, deadly Husseins. How do they do that? Try to call me right now, 424-229-4140. Whatever boring thing you get when I don't get one night, three check in a decade, check of America's life funds, whatever boring thing you get, it's not gonna be boring if you need the firemen, police, paramedics, and it's money out of your pocket, your gates livelihood, every time, you call up another customer, you get that boring thing. Censorship is often boring. And yes, when you're a politician and you're trying to place someone, say perhaps, with a Muslim name, right after we got attacked by all those cowardly Muslims, you're calling up folks to get them to vote for this person or that person. Yeah, it is our democracy being hijacked. And Melton, Stone Cold Melton, John Melton Brady, that, uh, Boss tells Clarice, he uh, he is a witness to that. We need to protect him. Uh, not doing a very good job of protecting today with the cams in the air from next door. Once again, you don't have to believe any of that. Assume that everything I say is attention getting. But yes, my nose is burning from the chemicals. That's why I turned the hair on. You know, I only usually have it on this low uh, a temperature. You don't have to believe a thing. You pick up that phone, 424-229-4140. Tell everyone at your 4th of July picnic, your get-together, your barbecue, pool party. Tell them to try and call Melton. With a 911 flight 93 check, he hasn't gotten one. We need to make a video, and we, we need to be the reporter. Do that. Answer that question. Is Barack Hussein Obama a terrorist? Certainly got the name of a terrorist. We don't go by names. We go by you not reaching me in nine years, ten years, excuse me. I'm getting used to the full decade now. Ten years of asking. 
So make that video, post that video, whatever you get when you don't get me. You got phone gate on your phone. Folks worried enough about hijacking America's life funds to alter phone records covered up. But you've got video proof. Get that video proof. That was a fun parable fight inspired by the hatred noise from the Muslim African American Mar uh, Mormon apartment down below. Oh. My 4th of July last break. And yeah, you can't read the photo registration links at boat-truth.blogspot.com. They're also on youtube.com slash dnfd series. Can't read the registration links or my imagery of truth. Yeah. That's how they place who's saying intro. Make that video whatever you get when you don't get me. Post it. And yeah, if you see anything bleeding, it's yeah, from the chemicals next door. Stigmata ones around the, uh, the head, the top. There, <laughs> started acting up. Now let me get to my tummy so I can finish it off. And, uh, post my videos. I lay down, maybe get some sleep. I started putting in honor of the uh, all-out attack. The hatred noise, the chemicals. The management not being reachable by phone to tell about the hatred noise. And out of that, I started putting those. I got January, an hour and a half of those corrupt Cowboy California cop parables stitched together, put together with a nice program, free program I found on the internet. I've posted one on youtube.com, says DNFD series, and uh, I'm working on more. I hope to get back to that. Now, uh, Tommy is in charge of erasing Hussein's past. Yes, that video about that, once again, federal agent, uh, Ron, not his real name, who had a, a running file on Barack Hussein Obama. His uh, Muslim, his Middle Eastern, his Saudi Arabian uh, terrorist uh, connection. And... Um, uh, yeah, we all remember how he reached out first thing in office to those who are arbitrarious in their countries, the Muslim countries. And um, then backed off of being Muslim. There comes the cowardly part. Can't even stand up for his own faith. They don't name him Hussein unless the Muslim guys. Okay, back to Matami because uh, this involves uh, my first few years in L.A. here. certainly nice and quick. Good, interesting to see. I last night I made a parable in my shirt over. I made it early because I was feeling dizzy. Uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not next door. Uh, I had this helicopter come over and uh, I, I didn't get it on video, but I did want to get the audio and I said, yeah, they love my night list. And those who are on hand with the high-tech toys with both computers this, uh, this 4th of July, erase it. You find out what is capable with high-tech toys and altering of videos and audios when you are around me. Oh, you see them. They, they have armies. Uh, what, well, we won't call them armies of impersonators, but they got a whole lot. And... Uh, they got that software that can, you know, pointy ears, they all got, so every video I've made has pointy ears, has the, uh, the funny eyebrows, or the big one, the small one, oh, who, yeah, all kinds of software out there, that's why you look for the truth, uh, the simple stuff breaks through that, makes a video you had that call to me, 424-229-4140. You got the timestamp on your phone, you got the number dialed. You got video of folks worried enough about altering phone records to cover it up. By altering phone records. But you got video proof. Now back to uh, Tommy, he's in charge of erasing. Uh, Ron, the guy with the run and foul and breakfast, saying Obama was told to drop his uh, 
adding to that file because they're going to place him in the White House. And yes, they said that before they even had the election. So I'm sure Ron is not the only federal employee with those kind of running files on the hijacking of our presidency by the Muslims. Guys, it's, it's okay to say what is true. I know it's we got all into being PC, but yeah, the men's named Hussein. They don't name him Hussein unless they're Muslim, especially where he grew up in Africa to be uh, closer to his dad during those formative years. Uh, yeah, that's not uh, actually grew up in Africa, Kenya, where all those labels on the uh, hospital gowns uh, at the uh, convalescent hospital from hell were from and a whole lot of African folks living there. That seems to follow me around it. And um, there's a Muslim, uh, very Muslim looking maintenance man here at Peak Terrace run by Savari Enterprises and yeah, a uh, year and a half of that convalescent from hospital, convalescent hospital from hell after, uh, yeah, losing 80 pounds in one month Ended up in the Good Samaritan for 70 plus days, then in that place, and uh, ended up on Skid Row because of, oh, don't get me started on a long list. But, uh, uh, yeah. I'll get to something else that involves my Muslims around the one and only, very shortly, which involves, yes, that uh, witness to the hijacking Americans of, of our presidency with, uh, yeah, phone records to prove it. Uh, a lot of folks out there can get those records. Get them. Make your video to the police station phone. You try to call me. Fire station's phone. Military bases phone. Get those records and say, this is what he's talking about. Now, uh, Tommy, after that uh, Ron parable of mine, the federal agent closing his files on Barack Hussein Obama's terrorist connections, after it was... Uh, that's the whole day's worth of my videos about Ron, Minute Parable there, and the photos were literally stolen off the computer. Right in front of me, one connected to the internet, so this is very high-tech toys, able to do such things that aren't connected to the internet. And um, after that, yeah, I started including Tommy erasing Barack Hussein Obama's past, his connections to his dad, and this is one of them. I'm already 18 minutes in, so I better hurry. Someone's got a video on the internet again. Uh, post them if you got them. And it's one of uh, LA, in LA. And you can see from the skyline, it's, it is LA. And it's got uh, Barack Hussein Obama. It's my fun fix, and I can have a little fun with it. It's got Barack Hussein Obama and um, Abdul Latif, I believe it was his name, who was running that uh, room for rent place. I had to live in because literally the only one I could reach, the only thing I could reach by phone. After first living at the Weingart, uh, homeless moved out here from homeless because of religious censorship and financial censorship, my gates livelihoods. Only place I could live got kind of uh, shoved into that place. And uh, he, back in uh, 2007, is it? Got here June, uh, got here July. Spent July in the South Basin Army of 2007 of Monroe, Louisiana. Moved out here. And uh, by July, I guess, of next year, was at that uh, dead forsaken place. And yes, that... Uh, that man was getting off to, he's a Muslim cleric often showed up with his uh, full garb. Whatever they wear over there, wherever as Muslim clerics, was getting off to Saudi Arabia right, out, right before they placed Hussein in our White House to stand on democracy. And yeah, he's got uh, Abdul there and uh, in, in that nice big get together and Barack Hussein Obama and Osama bin Laden. And, Barack is thanking him. Oh, Hussein is thanking his dad. Oh, his dad is thanking him. Excuse me, let me get correct. Uh, for faking his death. Remember, this is my, my fun fiction, guys. Because, uh, yeah, the streets, a whole lot of folks, 
being one person, gene pools for the folks. Consider your street resume, get it out there. You don't have to worry about making to even news. Unless, it's, of course, it's supposed to be there. And then uh, you damn sure be making those videos because uh, the guys at the top are mean as hell and they, if they want them there, you better make them. All this fun stuff, it disappears when you pick up that phone. You can't reach me in America. And you call up your local news uh, man. You call up uh, your local cops. You say, why can't I reach this man? Why else my family not be allowed to reach? Our phone's not, oh, excuse me, my vocal cords are going out. Our phones not be allowed to work, because I guarantee you a lot of good cops across America, got, or a whole lot of good military can tell you, John Milton Brady, not getting one 9-11 flight line three check in a decade, and that not being immediate news, that's a lot of stolen mail too. You can certify it to 4260 Eagle Wright Boulevard, apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. Do that. Make a video at first, it's gonna be stolen that mail, and a lot of good folks, of the cops, of firemen, policemen, oh, cops are policemen. We'll tell you, it's gonna be just as newsworthy if your phone's not allowed to work. That's how they place Hussein and our White House, standard of democracy, it's time to take it back. Our country, our presidency. It's gonna be just as newsworthy as John Milton Brady not getting 193 check in nine years of asking. It doesn't matter a thing I say, guys. If you can't reach me by phone, you got the video proof of that phone number on one side, time you called on another. That's folks worried enough about it. Talk to phone records covered up. Back to my fun stuff. Tommy said it hits the ceiling. Uh, he has to do it with his foot. He you know, lost both arms. Tommy hits the ceiling and he says, oh, we got to get that out of there. It's, it's even got uh, Barack Hussein Obama handing his dad some keys. And his dad says, what are these, son? And he says, the keys to Fort Knox. And they all get a good laugh, him and Abdul and uh, Barack and Osama. And uh, Osama says, oh, hell, son, we're from Saudi Arabia. We don't need this, uh, this uh, pocket chain to kind of stuff. Remember, very seriously, turn that dark chapter in American history. They've turned up that hatred noise from downstairs. They hang on my every word. Make that video of America's High Jake Life Hunts and post it. And call up California's corrupt cowardly cops uh, but yeah they get an opportunity to be law enforcement officers or to uh, prove that the car would be cop I was hoping I'd get a helicopter I hear one coming this way call them up and ask uh, try to call me via speakerphone why can't they reach this man if they don't know what a, where they get to be at law enforcement officers or they get to be corrupt and cowardly? Oh, they get worse than that on every traffic stop. You ask him, this is my wife's phone, my family's lifeline. I want to know why I can't reach this man. When else my lifeline not be allowed to work? I better get to those eyes. Medical research being passed by. Uh, yeah, Tommy's got that... Uh, his workers out looking for that video all over the internet. Yes, four years ago, the fourth. Hussein, dark brown. We're all dark brown, much darker than that. Back in Louisiana, here's that you know smaller browner circle slowly disappearing. But ooh, from five years ago. I swear, my vocal cords are. are oh, this is easier for me though. And remember. As always, when I'm messing with Muslims, check in post in five when those, you see those Mormons case in your neighborhood. 424-229-4140, you can find them. They can reach me by phone. On that red phone, it's an older phone, not the last video I uploaded. Check in post in five and them, asking what's your church doing? Why do you have so many Muslims in Utah? They say shared values, but yeah. Censorship, religious censorship being one of them. Tommy will have them in charge of uh, 
erasing that wherever they can find it on the internet. And uh, yeah, it's a nice video. Got Osama bin Laden and Barack Hussein Obama, his son. Looking out over the LA skyline with um, that uh, coward from uh, that room, overpriced room for rent place I had to stay in for three years and about three months. Who has connections to that Mideast just like my uh, a devil sister. Come see me in person, have Whitwood Travel, show me the perfect place to build. Jesus has a immaculate house here on earth, best people to start building with. And uh, post and repost these fives, telling everyone how to check and post and five. Have Whitwood Travel, show me the perfect place to build. Jesus has a immaculate house here on earth. Let's spend next 4th of July under better circumstances and. Uh, yeah, build Jesus' immaculate house with these rebuilding. I hope bodies going along with it. You know, the brown eyed DNA being replaced by blue eyed DNA is why I'm in the wheelchair. It's pretty painful with the muscles. Come see me if you're a good doc and tell me what's uh, going on with that. And show me that perfect uh, place to build. Uh, Jesus' is immaculate house. Best people start building with. Build it on truth. Make that video truth. That's your 4th of July get together. Never get together. And uh, point out. Obvious stuff like placing someone named Hussein in the highest office in the world right after we got taken by a whole lot of angry, violent, dead to Hussein. Expose those cowards with a simple answer to that question. Is Barack Hussein Obama a terrorist? Not one 93 check in a decade of asking, says yes, guys. 